I just finished taking the drone up. I got some amazing footage of the sunrise here in Victoria. Last year, I took you all on a two-part video tour of Vancouver. This year, I thought I would take you on a tour of where I live. Today I take you on a tour of Victoria, BC, right here in beautiful Canada. This is my city. There's a deer here. Okay, let's see if we can get this. Hello, deer. I think that's as close as we're gonna get. Wow, you don't see that every day. Canada's wildlife, 10 feet away from you. Just some of the sights of Victoria, BC. Victoria's Inner Harbour is really the focal point, the center point of Victoria. Everything that you can possibly imagine is right here in the harbour area. The harbour of course is filled with lots of yachts, sailboats, pleasure craft, and they have these little ferries. You can probably just see one over here. I don't know if I can see it, but a little yellow ferry. But they transfer people basically from one location in the Inner Harbour to other locations in the Inner Harbour because this harbor is quite large. I mean, we're just seeing a very small portion of it here. Right behind me, of course, our BC Legislative Building. And right over here, of course, we have the Empress Hotel, one of the oldest hotels in British Columbia. Named for Queen Victoria, the city is one of the oldest in the Pacific Northwest. As a result, many of the historic buildings still stand today. It is also the provincial capital of the province of British Columbia, with the parliament buildings being the focal point of the inner harbor. Take the ferry to Fisherman's Wharf. <laughs> and this is Victoria's Fisherman's Wharf and the home of the famous Floating Houses. Yeah, they're real houses. People actually live in them. This is their full-time home, and they live in them full-time floating on the water right here in Victoria's Inner Harbor. It's time to go get some fish and chips. Nothing like a little fresh BC caught fish.
You know, doing this tour, I've actually discovered a few things about Victoria myself. Like, I had no idea there was this giant building, this one right here. It's a pretty nice looking building. It looks like it's a really ritzy place, very expensive. But I've never been really that close to it. I've never really noticed it before. So yeah, discovering my own city while I'm doing this vlog. We're very, very careful. We're gonna see the Canada goose. That's right, our own national bird. Whole flock of them. Shh. Hey, goosey, 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 goosey. This is Victoria's breakwater. This is where they built a basically a big wall to keep out all the surges of the water. Now normally, there'd be giant cruise ships parked here, but for one reason or another that I can't think of, there's no cruise ships here. If you can see in the distance here, those mountains are actually the US. We are the southernmost tip of Canada, so if you were to sail east, you go to the US. If you sail south, you go to the US. If you sail west, what did I say? <laughs> you sail west, you're gonna go to Hawaii. But I don't really feel like paddling to Hawaii today. And when you get to the end of the breakwater, you get this little treat, a lighthouse to make sure that ships don't crash into the rocks. That is cool. You don't see a peacock just strolling down the sidewalk every day. You know, they say a man's home is his castle, but I think this guy took it to the extreme. In 1906, BC's Lieutenant Governor James Dunsmuir commissioned the building of this beautiful castle here in Victoria. The Canadian government adapted the mansion as a naval training facility. From 1948, it became part of the Royal Rhodes University. I am standing in front of one of three large batteries. Battery number two here was smaller, but it was more maneuverable. They could spin it quicker, they could aim it quicker. So it was aimed more for smaller craft while the other two batteries are for bigger boats and ships. And in World War II, it was a submarine threat. This is the third bunker. This is the third bunker, and both of these guns have been removed. There's actually two guns up here, but they were the same type of guns that were in the first bunker, the big, the big guns. And uh, they were designed, I don't know if I showed you, but they were designed to lift up, fire, and then they would drop down behind the concrete bunker here to keep them safe while they were reloaded. 
I just want to say thank you to everybody and your support. We really appreciate it. Now, Tony is all very excited about how many subscribers we're getting and how many views we're getting. So thank you very much for that. Thank you very much for your support. For now, this is Mark signing off. I just want to say thank you. If you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up, share, like, and of course, subscribe so you see notifications of new videos that we put out. I will see you in the next vlog and stay tuned for a very short message from Tony. Life is an adventure. Me and Mark have enjoyed some amazing travels together while he was here in the Philippines. We have some amazing stories together and we hope that you have enjoyed us sharing those stories with you. For me, I miss Mark so much and I can't wait until we are back together. And I know we will have many more exciting adventures together to share with you. I hope that one day I too can call Victoria my city.